Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by AOL Music and Spinner.com, where you can get free MP3s, exclusive interviews, and more. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1042 for Tuesday, March 9th, 2010. The Sanyo Exacti VPC CS1. The Daily Gizwiz is brought to you by Go to My PC. Unchain yourself from your office PC and access it from anywhere with Go to My PC for your free 30-day trial. Visit go to mypc.com slash gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick. Hey, it's Dick T. Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Rider, and the Gizwiz one day of the week. And thankfully, just one day of the week, we get a piece of crap. But this is even better than that. It's something really good on this week's Turn the Table. gentlemen here i am me hello dick wow hey leo how you doing <laughs> welcome to my show yes I'm this is your show wrestle, wrestle control back this is your wrestle talk. it back wrestle Tom it back. And represents a three-cornered hat it's what Did it looks like that? it looks like a three-cornered yeah. hat it's but, uh, you know you look silly wearing it leo so i would just put it back <laughs> on the desk it. we're talking about uh, last yesterday we were talking about the fact that dr mom who's a wonderful um, member of our chat room lillian's her name uh, sent me uh, a care package from Zingerman's uh, Bakery of Hamantaschen for Purim, which is a Jewish holiday celebrating something. And uh, something to do with uh, some guy's hat, apparently. So they yeah, make three -cornered, three -cornered hat. Haman's hat. You're supposed to say, I think you're supposed to say boo when you say Haman, by the way. So I'll say Haman, you say boo. Ready? Haman. Boo. Okay. <laughs> Little, I love observing <laughs> tradition. A little for him fun. And apparently you wear you wear a hat. I mean, yeah. you're, because Haman wore a hat, you're supposed to wear a funny hat on Purim. And okay. you're supposed to spin a noisemaker. Wow. Yeah. Haman. It's pronounced Haman. I'm sorry. So these mm. should be pronounced Haman Tashin. Haman Tashin. Okay. Haman Tashin. But I don't want to be laughed at when I go to the bakery. No. Because tonight I'm going to buy a Haman Tashin. Yeah, and they're going to say, and no, you mean a Haman Tashin? Boo. Yeah, say boo. Oh, they'll love yeah. that. They'll they'll <laughs> love that. It's yeah. a festival that commemorates the deliverance of the Jewish people living throughout the ancient Persian Empire from a plot by Haman the Agagite, the Agagite, to annihilate them. As recorded in the biblical book of Esther, he cast lots to determine the day on which to exterminate the Jews, and then uh, I guess they they ran before he could do it or something. Holy and then he was wearing a bad hat. They were delivered and allowed by the king to destroy their enemies instead. So uh, this is a, you know, it's a yeah. festival. And then, of course, you know, uh, Passover is coming up in uh, in a few weeks. And that's, that's I, the, the food for that is great, too. You, you, you know, you're not, Di Bartolo is not a Jewish name, I don't think. No. 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 But you but, get to, uh, if you live in New York, you actually, I think it's the law, can celebrate any holiday. Any, any holiday. Of any, it is the law. Yeah. It is. You, uh, you can be Jewish for a day. Yeah, absolutely. Muslim, Christian, anything. Any, if it's a holiday, any, you get to. things to get free food from friends. Oh, okay. Dr. Mom's so, telling me they got away with it because they killed Haman after Queen Esther seduced the king. Oh, okay. Dr. I think uh, Dr. I saw her on the chat room roulette doing that. Yes. <laughs> Dr. Mom says, all Jewish holidays in a nutshell, they tried to kill us, we survived, let's eat. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, 300 years of religion. Hey, some, let's uh, eat. And that's, you know, that's a great philosophy, I think, though. I think it is, too. Yeah. It's my new religious philosophy. Let's eat. Let's, uh, yeah. It shouldn't be yours, pal. <laughs> hey. You should be hey. Let's pass let's, on let's it. Let's diet. Yeah, let's pass over this yeah. dish. So uh, you remember the uh, 
Sanyo Exacti cameras, right? In fact, you, oh, I yeah. think you reviewed I have a few, two of them. them. Yeah, we are. We really I like have, these. This yeah, is the, the uh, this is an older Exacti. This is uh, 720p. We actually Dane uses this. In fact, when he goes to uh, see you, he brought brought this along. He brought the camera. Absolutely. It's a little video camera. It does stills as well, and it, you know it's it's kind of a pistol grip. It's very compact, very small, uh, and does a really good job. Records to a solid state memory. So uh, you know you 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 can put a lot of a lot of memory in here, and especially nowadays, this is a a, a Kingston four gig, but you can go up to thirty two gigs of uh, memory in these things. So so these are these are very popular among people who just you know who want a little inexpensive camera that gives you very good results. Well, Sanyo has announced a new one. It just what? came out. What we saw it at CES, didn't we? And this is our yes, we did. This is my pick of the. Uh, wow, the, isn't this pretty? That is a beauty. I saw yeah. that at the press very conference. Very thin. Wow. Um, it is very uh, pretty with shiny, you know. This is the VPC CS1. And uh, let me let me just turn it on for you here. Um, nice L L LCD screen so you can see what you're shooting. It's got a, a, a lot of zoom, 10x zoom. But here's wow. the thing that's really the most interesting about this camera is it shoots a high def 1080i video. Wow. Yeah. I mean, in something that is small enough to fit in your shirt pocket. Yeah, it is so thin. I couldn't believe it. They've really, I mean, it's amazing what they're doing with the technology uh, these days. Now, this runs about $300. It's not as inexpensive, say, as a, a flip cam. Um, but uh, did I say 1080i? It's 1080p. I was going to say, yeah, I thought it was, but I didn't want to yeah. correct No, you're you. right. It's 10, oh. 1080p. It's funny. I'm looking at the side, and it says 1080i full HD. Oh, no, I guess that's not an I. That's a bracket. So 1080p. This is, you put this that is amazing. For 300 bucks? Yeah. But you uh, know what? I don't have any friends who neither do I. Are, I have feel that for high you. resolution. <laughs> Your friends are all fuzzy. Well, all, all my friends are 720p tops. Yeah. Well, you know, there you go. Now the list price, as I said, is two ninety nine. Uh, it comes out March fourteenth. Wow! So uh, I guess right about uh, about a week. Right from about now. now. Yeah, right. Soon. Wait a week. Not a couple days. Not yeah. a couple days. Yeah. Um, nice. But I happen to have one. This the folks at Sanyo very kindly sent it to me for reviewing on the uh, on the Gizwiz. But well, doesn't exactly send it to you. I remember I was at the press conference when at the end the guy said, "Oh my God, the camera's gone." Well, so send, exactly you know, I mean, that's a, yeah, send would might be maybe an exaggeration. They uh, unwittingly lended it to me. That was it. There you go. <laughs> they weren't really thinking about it, but they uh, they did. So um, it does not come, a couple of words of warning, Does it does come with everything you need except for memory. And it has a very small amount of onboard memory. So if you're going to buy this for a gift for, uh, you know, birthday or... Uh, or Hanukkah or Christmas or whatever, you might want to get some extra memory to go along with it. But the good news is this kind of memory is very inexpensive. It doesn't cost much anymore. The regular SD card in there. Yeah. I mean, you can get a 16 gig SD card for about $25. It's not very expensive. That's Now, that's going to shoot a lot of video. Now, a couple of other things about this. An 8 megapixel still camera. Nice. So, so you're bringing along a pretty good still camera. Now, it, you know, it's going to be a smaller chip and the optics, you know, may not be quite uh, super good, but uh, I've been very impressed with the quality. Um, 10x optical, by the way, zoom for video. 9x optical, that's what you want, not digital zoom for stills. It, the display is nice, 2.7 inches. It's a surprisingly big display. That is nice. Yeah. Uh, it has high-speed sequential shooting for stills, video and photo image stabilizer, face detection, object chaser, 38 millimeters, so it's uh, somewhat wide. Um, it does have, believe it or not, and this is something we look for, is an HDMI output, a little mini HDMI, which you would then connect up to a bigger HDMI to connect to your TV. But uh, that usually means, and we'll have to play with this a little bit, that you can also uh, shoot um, directly to a recorder, which usually means you get even better quality out of it. Now, this is MPEG-4 AVC HD recording. It's H.264. And it's iframe compatible, which is an Apple spec uh, for video recording that makes it compatible with all the Apple products, makes it very easy to nice. edit, uh, edit with. I mean, I have to say, they've really done a nice job. They have something in here called Sound Zoom, too, which lets you, in effect, zoom the audio. 
You know how sometimes when you use a camcorder, yeah, he sounds like you know they're, they're far off. This would zoom in, so it's focused more on the camera's subject. Um, so this is a, I would say it's a, you know, it's a little pricier. It's about twice as much as a flip cam, but I think capable of a lot more. 1080p video. Yeah, you know the flip cams. I think they only have like two or three timed uh, zoom, right? Right. I mean, this is this is much more like a camcorder. In fact, it's really yeah. a full-featured full camcorder in a tiny little package. Package, yeah. It's um, really I think neat. very easy to use. You, you, you hold it in your hand like a pistol. Um, your thumb rests on the controls, so it's very easy to zoom and, and switch the controls from still to a video. Um, if you want to open it up, it's still easy to hold, even with the, uh, with the uh, LCD open. So uh, there, you, there you have it. A first look. I haven't done a lot of reviewing of the video yet, but I am going to post a video. I'm going to South by Southwest on uh, Wednesday. So you will start seeing video on our posterous blog from this. I'm going to start posting video, and that will eventually go to our, our YouTube, which is uh, youtube.com slash twit. My personal YouTube, youtube.com slash uh, Leo Laporte. You'll be able to see the video that I shoot starting uh, Thursday the 11th and uh, all, all the way through the weekend at South by Southwest. So you, that's, and this is what I'm going to use it, use it for. Oh, great. Yeah. Excellent. The uh, Excellent. Sanyo Exacti VPC CS1, brand new, comes out uh, in just a couple of days from uh, Sanyo. And uh, there's my pick. Not so Sounds bad. Not, me, not so shabby, Sam. hey? Good to me. For, for an old guy? <laughs> hey, before yeah. we go to our letter of the day, I do I do indeed have yes. a letter. I have a couple, actually. I want to mention our friends at Go to My PC. You know about Go to My PC. It's the remote access. Oh, yeah, it's great. Oh, yeah. The folks at Citrix do such great stuff. Go to My PC is designed to make it easy for you to access your computer from anywhere you go. Uh, if you want to leave work early, go home, you can use Go to My PC to access it. If you want to uh, uh, go on a vacation or do some business travel, Go to My PC lets you access the files on your office PC, copy files over. You can open any program. You can send and receive email. You can even access network resources just like you're there. And because it uses 128 bit SSL encryption, it's safer than almost any other way of doing this. I mean, it really is remarkable. I want you to try it right now by just going to go to mypc.com uh, slash gizwiz, G-O-T-O-M-Y-P-C dot com slash gizwiz. You get 30 days free of go to my PC. You could give it a try and see how it works for you. It'd be a good time if you're planning a vacation soon or a, a road trip or maybe you just, you know, want to get out of the office a little bit early and still be able to get work done. G-O-T-O-M-Y-P-C. Go to mypc.com slash gizwiz i think you're gonna like it give it a try So I got a, you actually forwarded this to me, and uh, I'm glad you did because I have an answer for him. His name is uh, Ultimate Gizwiz Fan. So we got to like him. We got to yes. answer. Yes. Yes. We got to answer his questions. He writes, I didn't hey. send him our typical, please leave us alone that we <laughs> mostly send to people. <laughs> please don't bother us. He don't says, bother Leo. Hey, Dick. Oh, me. Hey, Dick. Hey, Leo. Uh, do you know of any gadgets that would let you mount an iPhone on the handlebars of a bike to use for GPS? He says, if you don't know, would you mind forwarding this to Leo? Thanks. And he said, it's sent for my iPhone, and you did forward it to me. And I do, in fact, know of quite a few of these uh, iPhone mounters. Uh, because iPhone software, there's a number of things like Map My Ride uh, and a, a lot of workout programs that you turn them on, and it will map as you do the workout. It will map how much you've used and so forth. And uh, the uh, company that we've mentioned before, which is Thought Out, you, you've seen the Thought Out um, uh, PED 3. That's the iPhone mount that I use. I didn't really need that. That uh, I use to hold the uh, iPhone up on camera. These same guys make this really high quality iPod stands, also make a PED 3 bike. 
And uh, this is absolutely uh, what you want. It goes on the handlebars. It can actually mount on a variety of widths of tubes and so forth. They have uh, for one, one inch or one and a quarter inch bars, which are the standards. It uh, has a form that is pretty much the same as the um, uh, PED 3 that I use to hold the, and it's very secure to hold the phone. And then you mount it on your bike. Uh, if you go to T H O U G H T O U T, thought out dot biz and you look for their bike version of the ped 3 very solid steel and it holds uh, holds the um, the phone in a very easy way to see they make a number of devices this is another another one of their uh, devices i don't know what they call this one dane uses this. it's got a little clip on it and it'll hold the phone um you could actually probably use this even on a bike but i would get this the one that's designed with the to, to, to grip onto the uh, bars that's the thought out dot biz ped 3 bike Okay. Good, pal. You're fading out on me again, Dick. Uh, I am. You have a loose that... connection. You gotta <laughs> bang it. I don't know okay. What <laughs> it I worked. don't know what's happening, but <laughs> no, no, it worked. Hey, Dick. I'll okay. I, I am done. Uh, I hope I passed muster. Oh, it's great. Okay. Unfortunately, you sort of raised the bar a little bit again. So. <laughs> well, don't worry. It'll be crap next week. Oh, okay. Very good. I'll see you then, Dick. I'll be here. D-A-I-L-Y. It's the Daily Giz Whiz. It's the Daily Giz Whiz. It's the Daily Giz Whiz. It makes its own gravy.